So I just got my hands on GPT-40 on desktop and we actually have a big use case for this and I'm extremely, extremely, extremely excited for this. Okay, what is the use case? What is GPT-40? GPT-40 is a new model released by OpenAI. Thank you, OpenAI. They finally put a desktop app out for me. Uh, they were rolling it out to other people over time, but uh, it took a little bit of time for me to get it. That's okay. I'm here now and I'm going to use it now. So um why am i using it though what do i need it for well let me just go ahead and explain that to you uh i'm an algorithmic trader you can see all this data on my screen it's all like data in crypto essentially this is my sniper bot that is sniping solana tokens you can see the order books are flying right now these are real orders that are going through on some on binance you can see somebody just bought 3.63 million these are the big orders these are the huge orders these are all the liquidations right now. So these are people getting liquidated. These are people life losing their life savings right here. These are the big licks. This is my sniper. And then over here, I have all of the new launches and the most popular tokens being traded on Solana. Okay, I'm an algo trader. This is what I do every single day. I show everything here on YouTube and Twitch every single day because I believe calls the great equalizer. My name is Moondev. Hi. Hello. How are you? Okay, why are we here though? Why am I so juiced about GBT4 on desktop? Okay, well, because GBT4 on desktop should theoretically solve one of my biggest problems. In algo trading, the process that I, I favor, the process that I follow, every single day is simple. It's the RBI system. The process to automate your trading is the RBI system. I've been doing this for three and a half years. No, I'm not the best in the world though. I'm not the best in the world. I'm not. Of course not, but I'm, I'm working on it. So every single day I show everything along the way. Um, I'm here to, to work, learn, and I had a mind blowing thing that happened earlier today. And every single day we have mind blowing things that happen here, discoveries, which is crazy. But in order to automate your trading, this is the process I personally follow. I research trading strategies. I research strategies from YouTube or more preferably papers from like PhD students and uh, people who spend a lot of money go to school and you know spend a lot of time on these papers researching so you know let them do the work and then i'll read what they have to say I have to debug it pretty much d d uh smart it and dumb it down a little bit understand it okay cool so that's part of my process and that's what i've been doing for years now okay researching and then i back test to see if these research strategies actually work in the future so most people are staring at the charts all day trying to figure out if it's going to go up or down or sideways or whatever. I'm just, I'm staring at papers and code in order to see if these papers and YouTube videos actually worked, if these strategies actually worked. So this is the main part of algo trading right here. The next part's the easy part is just putting it into a bot and letting it run. Obviously I start with a very, very small size because just because it was shown to work on a back test does not mean it's going to work in the future. So, what did we do? This is the RBI system. This is what I do as a person, a human being, me, Moondev. Hi, hello. I do it every day. I research, back test, implement. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's gotten me to see things in other markets as well, like Solana. There's no algo traders over on Solana. There's very few, except me. And I did it all here on YouTube. So being focused on algo trading, there's opportunities that come up left and right. AI released, perfect. Okay, I have this process. I know it. I can, I can, uh, processize it. Research, backtest, implement, research, backtest, implement. What if I had an AI doing that for me 24 seven researching new strategies, coming up with hundreds, if not thousands of strategies that people have created. So not just like a LLM guessing a strategy, but people have created these strategies and made content about them, papers, videos. Okay. A human could do that. I could research all day. I can research all day, but you know, I can actually probably research for like four hours a day, really. Then I can code back tests, but I can only do that, you know, four or six hours a day. So what do we have AI to do? Okay. That's what we built. So I built that. So any, any video I put in here, the AI will watch and then figure out the strategy. Okay. So you could see that. And then it passes it to his friend that back tests the strategy. Backtest the entire strategy. Here's all the code. You see it? 
I actually built all of this here on YouTube, so I was kind of getting there. It's all here on YouTube. Just go watch my videos in like November of 23. November, December. Built this. It codes, backtests, and writes strategies based off of the videos. Okay? So why do I need this desktop app? Why am I so excited about it? Because we're getting stuck on this. Essentially, you could see here, these are the back tests it creates. And I would say they're about like 80% done. They just need a little bit of debugging. The strategies they create, they're great. It writes the exact strategy that the video or the paper was describing. Great job. But since this needs some debugging, essentially what's happening here is when you debug it, you have to be able to install this library called backtesting.py. And there's also a couple other libraries sometimes like TA lib or pandas TA. Those are technical analysis libraries. You got to be able to install those into the environment, but code interpreter does not allow that allow us to put new packages in the, their, their environment. I could kind of do it sometimes with the wheel, but not really because Backtesting.py doesn't have it. I posted this here. I said, been kind of stuck for a few months. I'm looking to install a couple Python packages into my code interpreter, but have ran into a couple problems and want to share my potential solutions. Looking to install backtesting.py, pandas TA, and TA lib as they are not available in the standard environment, but one, but one of the packages doesn't have a wheel. So my potential solutions. See, these order books are absolutely flying right now while our AI is chilling. The reason I need these packages in my GBT environment is to successfully debug code that uses these packages. I'm just such a bad writer, B. <laughs> oh my God, this is supposed to be over there, but whatever. Can I edit that? Anyways, I thought this would be go good to go over so you could see my solutions. The other solution is create a VPS on a Windows machine and try to copy paste from there. But solution two is wait for the uh, OpenAI desktop app. And I just wrote this like two hours ago. Other solution is to recreate a Python library, which I just don't really want to do, to be honest. But I'll do it. I'll do it if it's needed. So you can see the AI is creative strategies, it just outputted another strategy. It should have already outputted a back test as well. Yep. You could see the back test there, all the code for that. So that process takes me eight hours. So it's, it's just like, all right, a huge, huge time saver, huge time saver. All right, so this does save time, but we still need to debug it. Okay. So that's where I'm interested in using GPT. Let's see if they could do it or the desktop app. I don't know how to use this app yet. So we're going to just figure it out right now. So introducing launch bar. Okay. Use the launch bar to instantly ask GPT anything, no matter what you're doing, you can upload files, take a screenshot or take a photo press option space to open the launch bar. I'm on it. Uh, debug this code. <laughs> Just go straight to it. Let's go straight at the neck B.
Just do the hardest thing first. Okay, it's probably going to be the same problem as we've had here that it just goes in a forever loop, but we got it done one time today. So this looks to be the exact same, but unfortunately I can't see the code. That's trash. Sorry. Sorry, OpenAI. That's trash. I need to see the code on this one. I love you guys. So many sevens, so many sevens to y'all, but I definitely want to see the code for this. I definitely want to see the code for this. That's a nerdy ass thing of me. I get it. I get it. But I want to see the code B because it helps me learn. You get it. You get it, right? Sam, you get it. Come on, buddy. You want to see the code too. We all want to see the code. <gasps> but it did it. So fuck the code. I don't even want the code. Keep the code. Keep the code. Keep the code, B. I don't want the code. I don't even want to see it anymore. I never want to see it again. Dog. 777 to you. 777 to open AI. 777 to... Wow. I don't know. Me? Yeah. Shoot. That sounds good. Can we zoom in a little bit? That would be good for the audience. Yo, I got feature requests, B. I got mad feature requests. I got mad feature requests already. I will be on this all day, every day. If this works continuously, give me the code. Give me the, please give me the debug. I just, I, I'm not trying to be rude. I promise. I promise. I'm not trying to be rude. I, I love you. I love everybody. I just, I get excited and I think I come off a little rude sometimes and I just don't want, I don't want to come off rude like that. I'm sorry. A, B, A, B, A, 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 My bad. My bad. But do it with this data. I need this data in here because this is my data, dude. Give me the code. Give me the code, please, with the above data. Make sure, make sure it runs first. Yo, I, I'm just going to start over. I'm going to start over because I, I feel like now I want to test it. Let's test it. Let's see how fast this is because, okay. So we, we've been testing this. It took 30 minutes and didn't get anywhere using GPT four on desktop. There's some new power here. Clearly. I don't know. I don't know if it's clearly, but you know, there might be some new powers here. There might be new libraries installed. I have this prompt. And it's going to say attached. Okay. And I'm also going to put the. The uh, back test. So I'm going to put the. I'm going to put that in there first. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and then put the. Uh. The data, the data, the data. Okay. All right, I'm gonna time this, dude. This is game changing. I promise you, dude. Ready, set, go. All right, it's timed. One second. Let's begin by examining. Okay, you do that. Okay. That looks good to me. Yes. Okay. Hey, look at that. I get the code now. No, it's not the same code. It's not the code they're analyzing though. Yo, I want that code B, but if it works every time, fuck the code. I don't want the code. You can have it. Keep the code. Seven, seven, seven. Yo, this is game over if this works, though. I'm going to tell you that much. I'm going to tell you that much it's game over if this works.
Mm, look at that. It's having a problem. I didn't give it all the information I wanted to give it. So that was crazy that it works straight off the bat like that. But it did that same thing earlier. So is that right? I don't know. So I'm just going to give it one more try here. Okay. And then there's other ways we can use this thing too. So here's the strategy. Can you download this? Okay. I'm going to put back testing in there. Okay. Also going to put um storage, okay. Let's see data. And I'm also going to put TA lib because it was acting like a little pump before. All right, sick. So that's going now and it's great. Damn, it's analyzing for a long time, B. I really would love to see this. Come on. This is just some user feedback for you guys. I just really want to see the code. I'm, I don't want to stare at this analyzing thing. But again, F the code if it works. What is this copy functionality? I wonder if there's some documentation on the desktop app or something. You see there it says air here? Yo, don't tell me this is just going to be uh, the same thing. No, 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 no. Good vibes, good vibes. Seven 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 to GPT on desktop. How about that? About to send her some love because she's kind of she kind of getting a little scary right now. Oh, I got some more user feedback. Hey, y'all gotta hire like an uh, iOS king out there, B. OS King. Yo, why am I trying to tell a billion bajillion dollar company what to do? Do what y'all do. Y'all are thugging. I love it. I love everything you're already doing. Okay. Just keep giving me the models, B. I'll deal with the usability things myself.
So it appears the column names have been automatically converted to uppercase. Okay. This is looking good. I love seeing the code. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. All right, you keep it going, Shorty. You wrote a lot of stuff there. Why would you do all that? What is she doing? <laughs> the available keys in the stash object are listed. Why would you write all that, baby? It did it. How long was that? Bro, you can't make this up. I didn't freaking uh, time that. You cannot make this up. Yo, you cannot make this up, B. I've been timing this stuff for the last two hours and 15 minutes. I've been speed. I've been clocking her speed and she finally gets it. And I forgot to time that one. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. Time is irrelevant though, B, so I guess that's okay with me. Come on, give it to me now. I need all the code, please. I need the full debug code. That's the only thing that I need. Thank you, please, thank you, thank you, thank you, please. Seven, seven, seven. Thank you. Please, please, please. Thank you. Oh, she got so close. She got so close. If you restart from the start, I'm going to be hot, hot, hot. Okay. Hot, hot, hot. Oh. Send full debug code. Please. Please. Pretty please. Pretty please. Okay. Maybe this is it. Let's check it though. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Yo, what is this? This is not the strategy. I'm sorry. This is a simple moving average. Don't play me. Do not play me. Look at that. Look at she tried to play us. She tried to play us big time. This is what the strategy looks like. I don't know what happened to my screen. This is what the strategy looks like. It's a red EMA, VMA. She tried to play us, dude. That's probably what she did earlier. Yeah, she switched the strats on us, Doug. Doug, she switched the strats on us, B. She's playing games. Okay, I say above is a backtest. Please run and debug it with backtesting.py. I have uploaded the zip file for backtesting so that you can use the library chilly. Uh, do not quit on this until you figure it out, please. Time is irrelevant. Keep swimming. We got time, B. 
Don't give up on this back test. Figure out how to use it. Backtest.py. In the final. Okay, yeah. That's everything I wanted to say. So all I wanted to tell her, so I gave her everything she needs. This isn't an easy one for her, clearly. Here's back testing. Okay, that's everything. Let's see if she can do it. I'm timing this one. Let's go. One, two. Sorry, a couple seconds late. Saga. Catfish by AI, Doug says. Real old though. Now we did find a simple trading strategy. I run the backtest using the backtest.py library. Okay, great. Let's start get started on running and debugging and backtesting. All right, I'm going I'm to approach this a different way because she's tripping. She big tripping, B. She big tripping. So I'm going to give her the strategy in the, in the thing. Paste it in there. Okay. Okay, and then let's grab my prompt here. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in back testing here, okay. We're also gonna go ahead and put storage in here, okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and put the TA lib in here, okay. You got everything you need now, cutie pie. Let's see what you got. I'm sending you so much love right now. I wish I could see what you were doing so I could learn a little bit, but that's okay. Both packages have been successfully extracted. Good. I want to see the code so, so bad. How do we see it? Tell me. Is it this? GPT-4.0? I don't understand why anybody would use GPT-4 or 4 regular now. Why you even got it? You just shoot me an email with all, all the answers to these stupid questions I'm asking you today. Just hit me up at uh, moondevonyt at gmail.com. If you want to answer all my teacher requests and bad ideas, then I'll be there. Analyzing. Let me see what you're analyzing. Dog. Okay, well, I'm bored over here, so I'm going to go look at my meme coins. So these are, oh, top volume, Moocat. I haven't seen you yet. You know, the new launches are so a lot of Bear Bear is still up there. Okay, looks like uh, it seems there's an installation process took longer than to resolve this. I will use alternative method to run the backtest in that PY functionality without installing additional packages directly. I'll write the backtest considering the constraints. Honestly, I'm an idiot on this one. This is my bad. How are you going to backtest something like this? I'm giving them an impossible task. It is available right here. It's just a bad back test. I need to read through these back tests better before I just throw them in there. 
So this one is using an SMA or an EMA, but it's using SMA as bad back to us. Series dot E W M. These are all the AI generated back tests, so that you could see they're like a little slow. SMA everything is double bottom. Do you calculate double bottom though? No. It's okay. This game is hard. There's no easy ways around it. This is a pipe dream. But bloop. Good idea, B. It's a good idea. I gotta write that down. All right, that's better. I think that's a better approach. This is a better approach. So it's going to take more time, but I think that's okay. I'm just looking through some of these back tests, I'm not super impressed. Like, why are you put, putting in the SMA for every single one of these? self.macd but where's that macd coming from it's coming from the sma come on bro well what is what is that self.i maybe that's how you calculate macd is this how you calculate the macd though air all right open ai desktop is the same thing as open ai web I mean, obviously it's the same model, it's the same model, but can we do that copy paste thing? Like, can you see my screen? I don't know. Okay. I'm going to keep look. Uh, no, I wanted to look at chat GPT real quick. Where are you at? 
chat. Oh my god, I just saw candy up update. Create your your right, girlfriend and start chatting. Oh that was bad. Is this how you um Create a MACD. No, it's not, bro. We have Pandas TA. That's the thing. This is the wrong direction. I think this is the wrong direction. I don't know. Self.active. Choosing the EMA. To calculate the MACD in a training algorithm, the usual approach would be you calculate a MACD line. This is typically the difference between a short term and long term exponential movement average. Yeah, this is it, bro. Oh, I'm just shifting. I know I've been shifting a lot lately, but iterating. I'm iterating. Iterating. Just constantly iterate. That's all. That's all it is. That's all it is. Everything in life is just constant iterations. Iteration. Iterate. Iterate. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Iterate. Iterate. Go, go. Go, 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 go. Iterate. 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 Go, 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 go. Doesn't matter. Just keep going. Just keep going. This ain't the play. This ain't the play. I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to get there. I'm going to go. I'm going to go a different way. At the end of the day, what I'm trying to solve right here is I need unlimited backtests, unlimited strategies that are already backtested and output the, the, uh, the stats, all that good stuff. Okay. The one way to do it is use LLMs. Okay. We could do it that way, or we could use. We can use indicators as features to machine learning models and have them s splice them all together. I don't know. See, I'm not quite sure how that's going to work yet, but these LLMs are not playing nicely here. SMA for everyone does not make me happy. I do not get happy about that. Well, actually, I am happy because it, it shows me that maybe this isn't the way. This isn't the way. I'm trying to find a shortcut, you know, I'm trying to find a shortcut to have unlimited back test done and I can just look at back tests and then work from a position of power. You see what I'm saying? So, I mean, the shortcut to that is hiring a team of quants to back test. So we have three quants in here, back testing code all day long, back testing strategies. Okay. That's great. But how do you scale that? That's the question B. Yeah, EMA, okay. So, well, it actually needs the EMA here. So, trend following strategy. You know what I'm starting to think, though, is like, this process isn't bad. It's, it's cool. It gets you part of the way, right? But it's, why is it showing an SMA? Like, little things like that hurt my soul. It's like, the variable name is called EMA, and they use SMA. At least you're using MACD here, right? B bands here. Do we want them? Yeah, maybe. I'm gonna look through a few more of these. I'm losing hope. I'm losing hope in this uh, LLM, LLM for creating back to us. But it's good. It's good. I'm good. I'm happy about that. 
I don't I think it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen with GPT five. I think we'll be there at five. We're almost there with four oh. I think it'll happen in the next couple of years. So I'm gonna keep this live. I'm gonna keep it going. This I really appreciate. This part of it. The strategies, being able to watch any YouTube video and get the actual strategy out of it without having to watch the video and read papers that way as well. That's nice. That is nice. That said, I can probably just do that here too. Let's go overhead to Google Scholar and test that out real quick. Google Scholar. Intraday trading strategy pattern. Intraday trading patterns in an intelligent autonomous agent based stock market. Well, let's just, I've already opened this one, but let's just open it again. Can I download it? Save. Okay. Get a new GPT-4 desktop here. So I'm going to keep using the desktop. I want to see what it can do. What can you really do, dude? Tell me everything about this paper and tell me the strategy. From it for trading. I want to then build, uh, no, how, you do it. Then build a back test using back testing dot py. All right, let's see what happens here. The paper today strategies in intelligent in, in an intelligent autonomous agent stock market by Brian D clutter. So the paper aims to understand how intraday trading patterns, specifically the U shape pattern of trading volumes can emerge in a market through the interactive agents with limited intelligence. They use an agent based model to simulate a stock market with two types of agents, informed agents and uninformed liquidity motivated agents. The agents use rudimentary learning mechanisms, specifically genetic algorithms for social learning and a modified Roth Erev reinforcement learning algorithm for individual learning. See if this is truth. Yeah, it's right there. The model does not impose any equilibrium conditions, but instead looks for emergent behaviors from the interactions of the agents. The findings, trading patterns, the U straight pattern of trading volumes emerges naturally in the simulation. Even though the agents are not fully rational and do not engage in strategic trading, uninformed liquidity motivated agents learn to trade at specific times to minimize their adverse selection losses. Learning and coordination, the degree of coordination among uninformed agents and the Concentration of trading at specific times depends on the learning mechanisms and the percentage of informed agents in the market. The simulation shows that even with near zero intelligence agents, uh, concentrated trading patterns can occur if there is some form of learning. Market dynamics as the trading progresses, the trading day, day progresses, profitable limit orders are more likely to be taken off the books by informed agents, making later trades less profitable for uninformed agents. This dynamic leads to a concentration of trading activity at the beginning of the trading day. Strategy for trading. The strategy derived from this paper focuses on the timing of trades rather than the specifics of trade execution or selection of stocks. Key components include trading timing, liquidity motivated agents should aim to trade at the start of the trading day to minimize adverse selection losses. Learning mechanism incorporate simple learning algorithms to adapt trading times 
based on past trading experiences and observed patterns. Avoid late trading. Avoid trading later in the day when informed agents are more likely to have already taken profitable orders off the book. Pretty weak back test, but I mean, this paper was saying like use agents to trade at the start of the day. So, okay. I think I just tee off a new series and have this be just like six months of reading the papers. Cause like, this is cute and all that. This AI thing here, this open AI assistance, it's able to read videos really quickly, but who are these videos made by, you know, it's made by a bunch of retail traders like myself. Like, what do we know? And like, I would say that not to toot my own horn or anything, but I feel like I'm deeper in the, this game than a lot of the people that make videos about trading strategies. I'm still not saying, Hey, run this strategy because Number one, if the strategies that you're running, you don't share those. You can't. You cannot be. But I'm not even up here like chilling strategies, you know? We're going to discover a lot of strategies. I'm just kind of curious of. How to spend my time. We've worked hard the last couple of years, you know, we've got a lot of things working now. It's so what the bot, the bot, that's the, that was the whole goal of this. I think I'm going to go into these papers. I'm going to dive deeper because I read them. I do, but I never put them at the front of my day like this. And that's pretty important to get at the front of your day. To be at the front of the day is totally different, dude. Let's see what else this desktop app can do. Can you do as a desktop app? I would like to know it can do what? I don't know what that is. Um, can you see my screen? She's hmm. GPT. We'll see. Can you hear me right now? Can you see my screen? Please build me a trading algo. Use backtesting.py to backtest a VWAP strategy, please. Thank you. Okay, it just did voice like that. Okay. I'm being cynical right now about GPT on desktop and I don't like being cynical B come on. Let me see what you really got. Let me show the voice to the world. I need the voice B because then I'm going to talk to you all day. Let's see if the app has been updated by the way. Hello. Are you new or are you old? Pretty good, but are you the GPT-4.0 or are you the GPT-4?
when's yeah yeah oh, okay 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 you're the old one you know i can't interrupt you you're the old one then i don't want you anymore i'm sorry Hey, what's up with that? When are we gonna get that? When are we gonna get that update? GG. I know you just gave me the desktop and now I'm already asking for something new. All right, so I don't know what we can do with the desktop app, honestly. It just has all my things here. Okay. So that's the desktop app for you. I think that, um, how do you copy? How do you copy and paste? How to copy, paste, uh, open or chat GPT, chat GPT desktop. Yeah, that's what I want to know. Hmm. So I just don't think it can see the screen yet, but when it can see the screen that I feel like that's going to be a big play. It's going to be a big move. And until then, um, I don't know, maybe there is some other information here we can watch or something because chat GBT desktop app. Um, how to install it. Okay. So everybody's just talking about how to install it. This is how I'm going to use it though. You saw how I'm going to use it. So I showed you that already. I don't know if I'm going to go, I think what I'm going to be doing here, because we have the AI that codes the back that's, that's cute and all. I show all that code here in the boot camp, step by step. I hold your hand through the automated trading process and anything else I do like this open AI stuff that's very re related, right? Because I'm trying to build a system that goes ahead and codes back to us 24, seven, 365. So I'm trying to build that with this AI and, um, this is working. It just needs to be debugged and things need to be changed. So we used the desktop app today in order to try to make those big jumps. So far, my analysis on the desktop app is that it's pretty much the same thing as the web app. Um, yeah, it's no different. It's cool, but I, I see the future. I see what's coming. I see what's coming and it's, it's going to be great because if it's a desktop app, like I can already do things like click option space and then I can say go hit up GPT. What up B? So that's awesome. Option space, but that's just a start when it starts to be able to like copy our stuff uh, that's on the screen, take screenshots of what's on the screen. That's where I'm very excited when it comes to chat GPT desktop. And today you saw, you saw like where I'm trying to go with it and um, the challenges. My name is moon dev. I believe code is a great equalizer. That's why I show absolutely everything on my YouTube. I do encourage you to learn how to code. It's only going to help with anything pretty much. And, uh, I focus to spend my time building trading algorithms because I believe trading is not meant for humans. And I personally was not a great hand trader, but once I removed my emotions, everything changed. So I show how to do that here on my YouTube channel. And if you want to join the boot camp, it's 69 bucks. So barely anything. I'm sure you lose more than that in one trade. 
and this will show you exactly how to automate your trading for the rest of your life. Backtest any strategy to make sure you're actually running a strategy that works in the past. Not guaranteed to work in the future, but it's much more likely. There's a hundred percent money back guarantee. Always, always, always. So feel free to jump in today. Check it out. Chat with the community. We have a free discord here at the bottom of the page. And other than that, that is a uh, chat GPT desktop for you.